Good morning. Good Wednesday morning. Coffee time. Whoop whoop. <sighs> morning, guys. How's everybody doing? I'm doing better. I'm sorry I was such a whining, hining, crybaby yesterday. Uh, I figured out what it was, and it's because I'm up, because my weight's up, and um, I need to get a grip because my weight is going to be up from time to time. And I didn't like the way it felt, so I was just being a big old whininheimer, and enough of that. Um, also, it's looming in the back of my head that my friend will be leaving soon. Today's the 30th. Eight days. Eight days goes by quick. It's all right, though. Everything's good. Thank you for your kind words. You guys are the best. Um, I don't like it when other people whine on Facebook. I don't like when they whine on YouTube, either. <laughs> so how dare I do it? And uh, I apologize for that. I am going to make some breakfast. I'm sticking to what I said yesterday, and that is freestyle and trying to eat as many zero points as possible. But, of course, getting my points in. At the end of yesterday, I had eight points left over, which is rare for me. I'm going to have two scrambled eggs with some mushrooms, pico de gallo, and fat-free feta. And I'm going to have another one of Risa's apple cinnamon muffins with that instead of toast. I've got my coffee going. I've had two cups already. Got all over to school. It's rainy out and cold, which I'm in the mood for today. I can go for that. I need to get a couple things done here in the house, and this is the best weather in the world to do that with. I also need to go for some more walking. We're just going to walk off this weight, people. We're going to walk it off. I am in charge of me. I know what it takes to get this weight off. I had a good time putting it on, now I just have to focus on getting it off, and that's a lot. So let me cook this up, put it in my belly, grab my coffee and my water, we'll go sit at the table and we'll chit chat some more. Patty whack, patty whack, pat pat patty whack, missing my little patty 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 whack whack. I keep forgetting to tell you guys something, and since it's morning and I'm remembering, because at night I forget. Uh, I sincerely keep trying to show you guys what I eat in a day and then I seem to lose it at dinner time and that's because I sometimes I just don't eat dinner or I'll get hungry and I'll throw together like I did last night I'll, I'll get an Olay wellness wrap and I'll put some laughing cow and turkey on it but as a whole I don't really sit down and eat dinner I don't know Somebody needs to pick apart my brain and go in there with a tiny screwdriver, the dinner part in there, go open it up, peek around in there and go, oh, dinner. Why is dinner an issue for this broad? Go in there with the tiny screwdriver, pick around, open it up and tell me why the heck I'm like that. I hate dinner. I don't like making it. I don't like sitting down to eat it. I don't like anything about it. So while my intentions are good, uh, in the morning like now when I'm feeling caffeinated and ready to go and I'm going to share everything with everybody by the time I get to dinner I peter out and that's because there's really not much to show. If there is I will show and I will share. But my goal is to just stay within my 23 points which is not a problem. I'm going to drink water like I always do. Water, 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 water. I'm going to walk today. I'm going to go for Maybe three walks. This morning after eat, I'm going to go for a walk around my whole big city block. This afternoon, I'm going to go up to the park, walk a couple miles, and then tonight, I'm going to go again. All of this pending on the rain clouds opening up. But I think it's just going to be a little uh, drizzly. And we'll see what happens. But yeah, if it's if you guys are wondering, yeah, she just she starts off strong, man. She's gonna share her meals and look at her go, and then she gets to after lunch snack, and we don't see much. That's why I I have an aversion to dinner. So this is it, kids. There's my meal. There's my muffin from Risa. There's my coffee with my mug from Elaine, and I'm going to go sit my happy hours down and enjoy it, and then write out some thank you cards. Hey guys, I'm having a snack, and it dawned on me that I should share it, because you guys may not have ever had it. Um, it's called Quark. 
and it look and it tastes like yogurt, but it is not yogurt. It is a cheese. Um, it is originally from, gosh, I want to say Germany, but that, yeah, German. Creamy German style. Now, when I started Weight Watchers a year and a half ago, I found these at Sprouts, and I loved them, and I ate them like crazy, and then I bought a whole case from the company themselves, and then something happened and our refrigerator broke or something, and I, I don't know why I stopped eating them. Maybe they went up in Smart Points. I don't remember, but I was just at Aldi's today, and they have them there, and I love these. There are three smart points. It is not yogurt, but it tastes like yogurt. If you look it up, if you Google it, it'll tell you exactly what it is. Q-U-A-R-K, three smart points. This one is apple. I also have a coconut and a brownie. Check them out. You never know. You might like it. I believe that they are. Well, see, it's funny. It says whole milk, but somewhere else it said... Uh, lactose. Okay, never mind that. I must be incorrect. Let me read this to you. What is Eli Quirk? Eli Quirk is a spoonable fresh cheese with a creamy texture similar to Greek yogurt, but with a richer, less sour taste. It also has a better protein to carb ratio than Greek yogurt with high protein and no added sugars. So give it a shot. It's good stuff. I've always liked it. Well, I got a birthday bag today. I got a birthday bag from my pal, the one who's moving. The one who um, is the, probably the reason, not, although she, not on purpose, that I am in this kind of a low-key mood that I'm in because it's, it's creeping up on me that she's leaving. And, you know, I have to say, in all honesty, it's probably funny for her because while she is like, such this great friend to me and I love her so incredibly much I'm just like this nobody to her <laughs> she's got all these great friends she's had her whole life she's been blessed with good people in her life as where I apparently have not and um so it's probably funny to her that it's such a big deal to me that she's moving because I'm you know I'm just a gal that lives near her but I just love her so much and I have so much fun with her and and I'm going to miss her. But she gave me a birthday bag today. And you want to see what she got me? I know that you do. First of all, she got me this bracelet that I'm already wearing. And I don't know. I don't. This isn't my camera. This is my iPad. So it has one heart. It has one heart with a cutout heart. It says friends forever. And then the heart that's cut out says close at heart. And then it's got pretty baubles on there. And this will mean the world to me always. Oh, I, you can't see it on the iPad. I'll show it on my camera. But I love it and it means everything to me. And then I have a beautiful card from her that I will keep right here on my vanity at all times. I've already read it. And she brought me back. She was recently in Texas getting her place all situated. And she brought me back this mug. And then the back of it says, someone in Texas loves you. So she'll be loving me from Texas. And when we were in Target one day, I showed her this funny little thing that every time I'm in Target, I love it. It's one of those things that I just love. And I didn't buy it because I, I didn't know where to put it. You know, I didn't know what to do with it. But I just love it every time I look at it. I love um, certain different quirky things. And she got it for me. And it is this Darling Burrow cookie jar. Is that not the cutest thing in the world? It's so me. Because it's just different. So, so she calls it... Uh, she refers to, as, to it lovingly as an ass. She's like, don't leave without your ass when I was leaving, leaving your house. And I just love it. And I'm going to try to get crafty. I'm going to keep it in my bedroom where I can see it all the time. I'm going to try to think of something creative to do with it. Let me show you the opening in case anybody has any ideas. Um, I could absolutely keep stuff in there because my hand will go inside or I could put some dry flowers in there. The top has the pink flower that'll match all my pink stuff and I just love it. And coming from her, I just love it even more. 
So I got birthday presents from her today. Aren't they fabulous? I'm so excited and trust me, I am excited and I'm happy. It's just getting more, I'm just thinking more about how pretty soon I'm not going to be able to pop out my front door and go over to her house and see her. We'll text and we'll FaceTime and stuff, but I'm going to miss her. I'm going to miss her a lot. So isn't she fabulous? I'm going to have to have to think of a name for my ass. <laughs> I love it. Steve's going to laugh when he sees her because her? Is it a her? Hold on a second. It doesn't clarify because I kept showing it to him. Oh, I love, I love him. What could we do with him? We need to think of something creative. So now I'm going to play with my ass. <laughs> and I'm going to put my bracelet in my bottle drawer. And I'm going to put my mug up on top shelf. And those are my gifts that I got today from my friend. So I was just watching yesterday's video and it cracks me up because last night when I was putting all my clips together, I was I was sitting on my bed, Steve was asleep and I was on my side of the bed. I was like this. I mean, I had taken a sleeping pill and uh, but I, I just had to get it loaded, you know, because I am that person that has to do everything yesterday. So I forgot to show you the yumminess that I ate. But because of that, out of the kindness of my heart, I'm going to have it again today and show it to you because, oh my goodness, it was so, so delicious. And after I make it, I'm going to show you, sit down, have a chit chat. There's a couple things I want to share with you. Oh, my cookie jar is broken. Something tells me that one little man named Oliver Gates might have tried to get in here when he wasn't supposed to. That's all right. Cookie jars are meant to be broken by little boys, right? Um, my sister gave me some pajamas for my birthday that I, I don't have to show you because, well, they're under dirty clothes, but I want to tell you about them. I'm going to make my lunch. I'm going to turn this mood around. And then you know what? It is because my friend's moving. And that's, that's all it is. There's nothing bad going on in the world. And everything's good. So let me throw together my salad and we'll go into the dining room and talk because I eat every meal, boom, at my dining table. Oh, but I used my big bowl yesterday. I need to get another big bowl. Where do you guys eat? Do you eat all over? Do you eat at your dining room table? Do you find that it matters? I am not a good lap eater. Like if we go somewhere that doesn't have a table and I have to eat on my lap, forget about it. I get more on me than in my mouth. So, okay, let me put this together and uh, be right back. Figured I might as well talk about what I was going to talk about while I was putting my salad together because why the heck not? Um, my sister gave me these pajamas from a company called Soma that I have seen many, many times online and I always thought, wow, those look pretty fantastic because they advertise that they keep some of us gals who get a little warm behind the ears and on the brow, whoosh, they keep us cool. Well, I never purchased them for myself because they're a little on the spendy side and while I think I'm worth it, I think we're all worth any amount of money that we choose to spend on ourselves. And if you ever find yourself telling yourself otherwise, or your spouse, or anybody, that's not true. We're worth every single penny of something that benefits us to be comfortable. Um, if we don't have the money, that's a different Oprah. But we're, we're worth it, you guys. I think that sometimes we think we're not, and I'm here to tell you, we are. So she got me these pajamas by Soma, S-O-M-A. I'm going to find them before the end of this video. I just don't have them right now in the kitchen because I like to keep my jammies in my bedroom and my kitchen stuff in the kitchen. They are so comfortable. There's a pair of pants that are kind of capri-ish and then she brought me a spaghetti top, spaghetti straps top, and then there's a t-shirt if I want to cover my arms. The most comfortable jammies I've ever had. And I can tell you now that I can tell by the fabric already that this summer I will be able to wear those. I get hot fast, girls. And it's going to be interesting to see how much less hot. Oh, Claire, I'm sorry, Lindo. I get without all the bulk this summer. Uh, oh, but they're delicious. So for any of my friends 
who are my age and we struggle with the extra sweat on our brow or other places, um, check them out. Go to their site. Maybe there's a sale going on or maybe you have a birthday coming up or something, but I highly recommend them. Okay, so I am putting this salad together. On this salad, I want to show you, this is the dressing, Cilantro Avocado by Bolt House. Folks, I hate cilantro. This is the tastiest, tastiest, tastiest dressing I have ever had since starting Weight Watchers. And as you know, any of you guys who have been doing this as long as I have, we've been through a lot of dressings, right? Oh my gosh, I have probably... 15 bottles of dressing in my refrigerator just because I couldn't find one that I that I really liked Going back to what I said yesterday's video about having too much food and trying different stuff There you have it Two tablespoons of this Is two smart points. It goes a long way. Hey, Risa Weiner said something yesterday super interesting I heard that she adds a little bit of lemon juice in any of her liquid concoctions to make the liquid go further kick ass right is that a great little tidbit thank you Risa you've rocked my world since I found you I wish I knew you personally I wish you knew I existed because we would be friends we would be best friends because my only friend is moving uh, anyway so this is the kind of dressing that you will be seeing also the, the cheese I use is from Walmart but you get the most bang for your buck for a whole third cup of it cheese, it's only three smart points. For other light cheeses, it's a quarter cup for three smart points. Lettuce, chicken, I'm gonna chop up a tomato, or at least I'm gonna try. When I chop up tomatoes, it ends up more like, uh, you know, tomato sauce. <laughs> well, I had full intentions on showing you my salad, pre-mush, <laughs> pre-mix, if you will so that you could see what a lovely presentation it was but when I was measuring my salad dressing it a little too much fell in and I had to mix it up so this is basically it it does not look good but can I tell you it tastes like a lot of heaven not even a little bit of heaven I decided not to do the tomato just because this is all I need to be happy I need to ask you guys a question. Oh my gosh, this is so good. So we got three points for the cheese, two points for the dressing. We could have a ton load more of lettuce. I could have corn in here. I could have tomato in here. I could have refried beans in here. I could make this a big, big, big salad. Big, big son of a gun. You know what I mean? Who was that? Who can tell me who that was? So this is what I'm thinking, because as long as I'm hiring you people and paying you big bucks to be my personal therapists, let me ask you this. Watermelon. Mmm. So delicious. Um... I know I was going to ask you guys something and then I forgot because I didn't want to do it with my food in my mouth. Oh, I remember now. So if you had a friend, let's just say that I'm asking for a friend. If you had a friend who um, did not like to chop up vegetables, what would you suggest to that friend for them to purchase, say, from Amazon to do it for them? There are many choppers out there. Um, somebody, I saw one earlier today, they had a whole container and they put it on the top, chop, and it would go in the container and then there's ones that you just go like this and that kind of mushes up. Do any of you guys have one that you favor that I could tell my friend about? Because she needs something, because she stinks at chopping the veggies. But I'd like to help her out because that's the kind of friend I am. <laughs> um, everything's good. Got my birthday present, gonna eat some watermelon, and then I'm gonna get my pal and hopefully do some more walking. I'll bring my camera with me. She's great about the camera. I just am funny about putting it in her face. And you know what? I think that, um, I don't know. Here's where my therapy comes in. 
I could be spending all day with her right now today and I think I'm afraid to be around her because I think I'm just going to start crying. And again, um, I'm just, you know, a friend to her. And I'm not, I'm not saying this like for any other reason, but it's the truth. You know, she has been blessed with in her life. She's got all these great friends who have been her friends for her whole life. She's been married to her husband for about 500 years. Her family is very close. Her children, her girls are all very close. And I'm just somebody who just washed up on shore <laughs> about a year ago and have had just loved her to death. And she has filled my heart with the kind of friendship that I needed to know was out there. Um, but I think I've been afraid to spend the day with her today because it's like I'm afraid I'm just going to cry. It's kind of like if I distance myself from her, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I'm, I already miss her when I could be with her and I'm not. But I have my ass. <laughs> I have my ass. She gave me an ass for my birthday. See what a good friend she is? Hmm. All right, you guys. Um, let me eat my watermelon. We'll grab my phone and my camera. And we'll, we'll go bombard her. We'll just go up the stairs and sneak up on her with my camera. Okay. Okay, so Cindy and I are out walking. Say hi, Cindy. Hello, hi, Cindy. See, she's just as good at this as Steve is. <laughs> and we were just talking about Risa Weiner's protein balls. So I think that when we're done walking, we're going to go to my house, look at my ass, and eat balls. <laughs> <laughs> my kind of day. <laughs> uh, did I show you? Oh, I did show you guys my ass. It's awful cute. Oh, you showed her the ass already? I did show her the ass. Why are you pointing the ass to me? Oh, I, wrong you're ass. you ass, you're pointing it to me. Because <laughs> <laughs> when you get the ass, look at the ass, you're going to think of me. I'm always going to look at the ass and think of you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have it in so the living room. So if Nurse Amy's watching this, I'm moving to Texas, I'll need you. Yep, 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 yep. She hasn't been on. Where have you been, girlfriend? She's, she's, she's taking a break busy. or something. Yeah, because she had the, her job interviews. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, that was yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. We're going to have to look you up and text you and find out how it went. Oh, how funny. 